The election campaign of the presidential candidate of the Sri Lanka, Pudujana Perumun Gotabe Rajapaksa, centered around the Kalutara district today. Gotabe Rajapaksa received a warm reception from the people in Kalutara. This is how the people in Panadura welcome the presidential candidate of the Sri Lanka, Podujana Peramuna. If there is a government that did not do anything new, it is this government. The past four and a half years were spent by them simply going through our files. They only had revenge on their mind. At the end of the day, they took revenge from the people because nothing was done on behalf of the people. Today, debt has increased. Living costs have increased. The people are pressured in every single way. <laughs> This government asks the people to stay hungry if there is no gas. They are asking for the people in apartments to cook using firewood. What a government. A government that can't provide people with gas. They don't feel the troubles that the people go through. Are they even talking about these issues? Did they even apologize to the people and inform the public that this issue will be resolved soon? This government started to rob from day one. We will launch a program where a bag of goods needed for a week of consumption by a family will be provided to poor families in the country. We will not let the poor people in the country suffer from hunger. We will soon let the public know what that bag of goods will contain. Dal, potatoes and more. We will reveal soon. But not for everyone, only for the poor people. We paid special attention back then to urban development, that is to make the urban city people friendly. Not a concrete forest, but a green city which is environmentally friendly. We constructed roads, walking paths for the public. The Verasa and Bede Lake projects in Colombo, which was a city prone to flooding even after a light down pro. We removed garbage from the cities. We transformed them into people-friendly cities. In a government led by us in the future, all cities will be transformed in that manner. Even in the city of Panadura back then, we launched a project to build a beach park. We will ensure to continue that transformation and also transform the rest of the cities to ones that you can live in. <laughs> Another public rally attended by Gotabe Rajapaksa was held in Bandaragama. Just like they did not fulfill the promises which were given, this government robbed the poor. They sold the airport. They are trying to sell the highway. Now they are trying to give lands on the back of an economic corridor. They are not saying anything against this. They talk like we are running the government. They are the ones running the government. They are taxing people. They increase the taxes. Today not a single man has money in his hands. Businesses are bankrupt. Seven people that I know committed suicide. 
they were Tamil businessmen from Fort. They couldn't bear it up when they got to know that their properties are to be auctioned. This is the situation in the country. The economy of the country is in dire straits because the development that we began was halted. We presented a program where the economy in every aspect could be uplifted. We paid special focus to the agriculture and the plantation industry. There is new technology where high profits can be earned by farmers through utilizing a small land space. Due to the mismanagement of this government, the export industry of crops such as tea, rubber, coconut, cinnamon, pepper have fallen. We will stop importing of latex. We will launch industries surrounding rubber again and lift the plantation industry. To uplift the economy, to provide jobs to the youth, we are to introduce a knowledge-based economy.